There's more to life than just sandy beaches. So I'm in a Facebook group called Straight Out of Edmonton. All of the members in this Facebook group either live or have lived in Edmonton at some point in their life. People in the group, they range from late teens to probably late 70s and all ages in between. It's a nice group to be in. I lived in Edmonton 27 years of my life. And certain people there lived in Edmonton way before I was even born. And they post things into the group. Oh, do you remember this shop? Do you remember that shop? Oh, do you remember when this was here or when this happened? Nice group to be in. Groups expanding, getting lots of people joining this group. I think there's about 4,000 members now, so the group's really expanding. So we got one guy joined the group recently, and he's from the Bahamas. Sent a post into the group. Hey guys, I'm such and such. I'm from the Bahamas, but soon I'm going to be moving to Edmonton. Can anyone give me information about the taxes, the apartments, what's the best place in Edmonton, and what the area is like as a whole? Now, what he got confused was, he joined the group straight out of Edmonton, thinking it was the Edmonton in Canada, when really it was the Edmonton in North London. I started scrolling through the comments and they weren't mocking him or disrespecting him, but they were just making little random jokes here and there. You're in the wrong state, mate. Let us know what it's like when you finally get to Canada. Stuff like that. Now, I'm reading through the messages and quite a lot of people said the same thing. Oh, why would you want to even move to Edmonton? Stay in the Bahamas. It's nice and sunny there and stuff like that. And I've left a comment and I basically said, nah, emigrate out of the Bahamas. Because in the Caribbean, there ain't much going on. There isn't as much opportunities. Yeah, move out. Move somewhere new. Find new opportunities. See, this is the thing. Your average person... If you ask them, where would you want to live? Bahamas or Tottenham? They would instantly say, yeah, boom, I'd rather live in the Bahamas. But what they don't understand is because people don't look at the bigger picture. When people think of the Caribbean and the Bahamas, they think, oh, hot weather all year round, nice sandy beaches, pearl blue water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all good, yeah. The postcards look good, but in the Caribbean, them islands there, Bahamas, Jamaica, Trinidad, there ain't nothing fucking going on in them places. There's no opportunities there. There definitely isn't as much as opposed to Edmonton, and Tottenham or some spots in London or just the UK as a whole. Just like some people are not. They watch Chris Brown, B2K. And then they want to, yeah, get gassed and move out to America. No plans, you know. Nothing, fam. No job waiting, nothing. I'm just going to go out of there with some money in my pocket and just... I'm just going to wing it. They're asked right back to England within a year. They didn't even go out there to travel, you know. Just, oh, oh, I just need a break. I ain't got no boyfriend. I can't find a man. I just need a break. As if their life's going to be so much better in America. But this is what I mean, fam. People are watching the polls cards and thinking that, yeah, life's a dream, bro. Don't watch Drake and them man there, you know. You go out into America, you ain't going to live that lifestyle unless you've put in the work. Now, there's some people, they might, you know, be fortunate enough to go somewhere and then a nice opportunity lands their way, whatever, in it. I ain't winging it to go to another country. But you don't need, if you're from the UK, you don't need to go to America. There's so much opportunities in this country. You don't need to move out to another country for an opportunity to look for it. Like, if a nice job comes up, whatever you want to go, that's up to you, innit? Yeah, but... Just make yourself look dumb. Well, fly out to fucking America. Because cause nothing's going on in the UK. And then you're right back. In the UK after a year. Ain't made no progress. Ain't learned nothing. Nah, they learned something. Learned that they're a fucking idiot.
I know people. I just want to move to Jamaica. English born people. They beg. For the opportunity to move to Jamaica. I'm telling them nah. You don't want to move to Jamaica. Because in your head. You're thinking yeah I'm just going to relax on the beach. Blood that shit gets boring you know. What about earning money? What about getting a job? Or starting a business. Things out there are a lot tougher. Than the UK. And the types of people then that are saying that to me. Are people that have been on benefits. 10, 15 years. But they don't have benefits the way they do in the UK. Over in Jamaica. I would never trade. England or the UK. To go and live in Jamaica or Bahamas. Bruh, them people there in Jamaica and the Bahamas. Bruh, they want to get out. They want to be where we are. Yeah, things were a bit rough and shit in certain areas in London. But blood, five minutes down the road, you're in a new area. 20 minutes on the Victoria line, you're in Oxford Street. You think they got fucking Oxford Street in Bahamas or Jamaica? You got no... The Caribbean is dead. Things are slow out there. Man, been to Jamaica twice. Not for long periods of time when I've been out there. 12 days, 12 nights. Not a long time, but enough to know, yeah, this ain't the place for me. Things are so slow in Jamaica that when I was there last, when I was 19, we obviously flew by plane, obviously. When we came back, it seemed like England was light years ahead of Jamaica. Everything seemed fast. The roads, everything, the quality, the standard was much higher than Jamaica. It was almost as if that plane ride was like the time machine journey into the future. Going to Jamaica and the Caribbean, it's like going back in time. You do not, anyone who really, at a young age, really wants to move to the Bahamas or the Caribbean or whatever, they're not thinking straight. They're just looking at the gimmicks. Oh, nice no, Sandy Beach, drinking coconut water and all that bullshit. If you're an old person, yeah. You've done your time, hopefully. You've worked hard, hopefully. Yeah, go and move out to the Caribbean. Where it's nice and slow and peaceful. That's cool. But if you're a young person, now nah, you need to be in a place where there's lots of opportunity. You can't be in a place where your opportunities are limited. You can always make something of yourself everywhere, obviously. But why not put yourself in a position where you've got more opportunities? I know people family members who have built a house out in Jamaica they were in a rush to get out of there yeah 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 I want to go to Jamaica yeah I want to live there after a couple of years straight back to England because there's nothing going on out there it's boring these ain't no young people I'm talking about not even 40 years old yeah 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 People them 60 years old, yeah? And they're fucking bored out in Jamaica. So imagine, if you're a young person, I, I can't class, you know, you know, if you're 40 years old, you're still young. You're not old, you're not young. But anyway, if you're 40 years old, you want to go out to Jamaica, you're going to be bored. If you're coming from England and you're going out to Jamaica, you're going to be bored. And I'll never trade the UK. For the Caribbean, just for a bit of fucking sun. Nah, I'll grind hard in the UK, earn my money, and then go out there for a holiday. People them in Jamaica, they don't want to be there because they know the opportunities them is limited. So anyone that thinks like that, just review your thinking, your car. You're thinking about being on holiday. That's what the family member's problem was. They assumed that their life was going to be like a holiday 
all year round when they were out there. When you live in a country, you and you're not rich, that holiday lifestyle, oh, that's limited. You can't sustain that holiday lifestyle. You ain't going to Duns River Falls or Mystic Mountain every week or swimming with the dolphins, $200 US dollars every week. It's not practical. Yeah, I keep my ass put in England, yeah? No matter what part, it could be Northampton or Edmonton or fucking yeah, West London. No I need to be somewhere where there's lots of opportunities. Stay wise.